You are welcome to what we call the Femity Bootcamp 2019. Females in Tech Initiative, uh, or Femity for short, is an initiative by Dream of Our Foundation to empower girls from underprivileged communities or societies. Um, this program started in 2018 um, with girls from Nima Mamobi community to provide them 21st century skills in the area of coding, robotics, um, and Internet of Things. And over the period, it has been an impressive journey with these girls who have shown so much um, interest, shown so much drive, shown so much energy um, in what they are doing. Um, we started with a training program which lasted for eight weeks, ended somewhere in November. We are now in the boot camp, a two-day boot camp, to also continue with their project work so they can display the things that they are working on. After this boot camp, we intend to enroll some of these girls in um, Ashes's Innovation Experience, the AIX, um, come summer. So some of the girls who um, prove themselves and show commitment will continue further. Our whole journey will end with some of the girls enrolling in higher institutions of education to pursue computer engineering. The tech industry already is dominated by the males and a lot of the girls have been left behind over the period. Even girls think that technology or engineering, so software engineering is for boys. Coding is for boys, robotics, IoT is for boys, but no. We want to make it clear that everybody matters in this equation. Girls can do it better than even boys can do it. This is why we believe that it is time to empower these girls so we can get girls to rub shoulders with their male counterparts. Our focus is on the UN Sustainable Development Goal 4 and 5, um, quality education and gender equality. This is the key that drives us to do what we are doing and we are passionate about it to ensure that these girls get quality education in STEM related subjects plus also build confidence in them to understand that the world does not belong to the male species. It belongs to all of them. They can equally be empowered to also take up their space in the tech world, take up their space in the business world, take up their space in the global arena and play with anybody else. And we believe that these girls have shown so much commitment and they've shown so much energy that they can be supported as far as we can to get this program going. We're also trying to teach you some topics of business and entrepreneurship. And hopefully there are some um, presentations that will be done in the course of the day just to run you through some of these things, how startups start, because some of you, I am seeing some of you will eventually run, want to start your own businesses, eventually. You might not want to wait. No, don't worry, not fret right now, relax. When that opportunity comes, you will see that you are, you are so well resourced that you can start a business on your own and you can turn things around.
name is Lady Omega Hammond, CEO of Ampersand Technologies Limited, a software and design company that builds software solutions for businesses and individuals. It's an honor to be a mentor at the Females in Tech Initiative organized by the Dream of Our Foundation, given that I become an example for them to see a female entrepreneur who is Ghanaian, who is local, and who is real like them. Today I had the opportunity to teach them about Lean Startup and the measures they should take when they have ideas or they have buzzing solutions in their minds and how to turn them into businesses. It's important for me because growing up I realized I came this far because of the exposure I had, because of the people I saw and the people I interacted with. So today I taught them how to learn and find problems from customers build solutions and measure the impact of your solutions so you can make profitable and grow sustainable businesses from it. It's been a complete joy to see their reactions and the questions about things that are on their mind and I have no doubt that the future of Ghana depends on these girls and greater things to come. Hello, my name is Mina Sabia and I'm the Programs Coordinator for Dream Over Foundation. I am excited about this project Female in Tech Initiative because it's an all-girls program where it's targeted at girls in deprived communities, girls that are given off in marriage very early. This is an initiative that will boost the girls' morals in taking programs and activities that is geared towards them. They will be here to complete their projects that they started initially and I'm excited to see the outcome. I'm Triamitet, the founder and CEO of Status Tech. I'm on the Femity project as a technical lead. For the first session, we have three sessions. For the first session, we did a recap of what we did, um, the projects that we did during our previous training. For the second session, we are taking the girls through soldering, a, a key electronic skill that we believe they need to have. Third session, we are going to be working on um, building a device that is able to turn a light on and off. My name is Aisha Mwame a graduate of Accra Girls Senior High School and the member of Females in Tech Initiative. We are here for the Femiti Boot Camp 2019. The purpose of this camp is to bond with our facilitators and friends to learn more and have fun. The Females in Tech Initiative has the main aim of helping girls to take part in the tech world. We learned how to sense the amount of moisture in a room, the heat or the coldness in you know, using the temperature and humidity sensor. We also learned how to power a light bulb without really using the normal switch. We used our own small things to do it. And we also learned how to blink an LED using our breadboard, our Node MCU, our jumper wires, and our LED. This way, you can use your mobile phone to control the, light, uh, the LED. You can decide to either put it on or off without using the normal switch and going the long way. With IoT, you are able to control your devices at home from wherever you are with the help of the internet and your mobile phone. We've been trained for about eight weeks now and we've understood that one does not need a university degree or whatever to be able to build things to help the community or the nation. My name is Moa Mandura. I'm 15 years of age. And then I stay in Nima. And then for the past eight weeks, I've learned a lot of things. I've learned how to connect LEDs and then a resistor. And I've learned how to sense the temperature in a room and then how to sense the light in a place. Talking about the Asesha University, I think it's a great initiative. We get to learn a lot of things, we get to explore, explore more and get to meet a lot of people. And then I want to become a software engineer in the future. We are so grateful to all our partners, especially um, SAP, 
and the Ministry of Inner City and Zogo Development for all the commitment they are giving to this program. We are hoping that we can continue in this relationship and drive this program to other communities throughout the country and get 50,000 girls from underprivileged societies supported with this program and empowered digitally to also take their space in the global arena.